I have so much to catch y'all up on. Um, and just telling by the state of my room, I completely demolished it this past few days. I just filmed like a cute little Instagram reel, but I've been trying out hair rollers. And that's what that mess is because this week is Haley's wedding. Haley motherfucking Sims' wedding. I cannot believe it. Like, I'm gonna cry so much. I already know that. But I just thought this would be like a pivotal moment to vlog. Like, it's a huge milestone. I'm acting like it's literally my sister, but I mean, practically. Um, so I'm vlogging this whole like week um i leave wednesday it is currently monday so i'm hoping to do like a monday to sunday or monday to monday vlog i do have a few updates so i'm actually gonna put you down before my arm gets too tired <sighs> so um you're like oh it's monday why aren't you at work um so i quit my job i just don't think it's for me right now managing is fine but i think being part of a big franchise is not so much my thing and like kind of administering policy I don't fully agree with, doing a lot of work that I'm not necessarily compensated for, not feeling very passionate about the work I'm doing. So I decided to quit. I tried it out three months and I was like, okay, this honestly was never meant for me to stay here super, super long term. It was meant to be a bridge role. Um, so that's the update. I'm back coaching, just coaching, not managing anymore, part-time. Um, so I'm going to go do that today and then maybe see if I can pick up some hours for tomorrow. But I have just been feeling like really freed up now. Like this is, I mean, I was supposed to go in yesterday. Oh yeah, here's the other thing. I had a crazy allergic reaction. I'll insert a picture from yesterday and had even started like breaking out in hives, like on my elbows, like there's still some remnants here and like my wrist even. And like, I don't get hives. I'm not really like an allergic kind of person. So I was freaking out. I was like on the phone with like all of my higher ups, boss, owners, like everyone being like, I'm stressed out. Um, and I finally was able to like find coverage and not go in. But they were dead ass trying to make me go in with like my eye like puffed up and like hives and stuff and i was like no so anyway then they called me and they're like yeah you don't need to come in for your last two days we got it covered i was like honestly okay fine like i'm traveling and one of the days is only a half day anyway so i'm feeling good about that um and now i have like some freed up time and with that time i've just been feeling really like alive again like i just made a cute little instagram reel that's like i mean i showed you guys that's why that's a mess there and i've just been really wanting to feel creative but like with my fashion specifically so i almost went thrifting today and then i was like i don't really need to do that i'm just gonna like experiment with what i have and my closet and i'm glad i did that but yeah so i still i'm gonna go to work today for like a couple of hours and then come back um and then tuesday will probably be like a packing day laundry day maybe i'll go thrifting still because i just like am feeling inspired i'm so so excited for Haley's wedding like that's obviously like the main point of this vlog and i'm very excited to take y'all along and we're just gonna have a grand old time getting Haley married so i'm so excited it's my first time ever being in a wedding so i'm one of the bridesmaids and i feel like that comes with a lot of responsibility so um in terms of just like being there unfortunately i wasn't able to be for there for the bridal shower like a month ago but I'm looking forward to being a part of like all the other festivities. So I'm just very excited to have this vlog for future reference and to look back on the memories and see how special that time was and how emotional everyone was. I know I'm not gonna be the only one like literally sobbing my eyes out, but hopefully it's not too bad and hopefully it's just fun, but I'm excited. But yeah, I will update you guys when I really get up to something besides sitting in my room making content <laughs> my camera sideways because i'm not using a tripod but i put this in my hair it is like what i use for heatless curls overnight kaylee boyles who i've been watching to like create a blowout in the first place and i saw that this is how she preserves hers so i figured what i do is since i did my blowout yesterday and it completely fell out overnight even though i like slept with a silk cap and everything i thought i would try this so I put some sea salt, like texturizing spray. Um, it's been a few hours since I last checked in. I'm about to leave to drop off my keys and just old t-shirts and stuff that I don't ever think I'm gonna wear. Um, I did my nails and I did my brows. So I've just been like prepping 
the preming. Okay, I see some thing happening here. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow, I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. So good to know that that works if I ever need like a an overnight sort of treatment. The only thing like, I just don't know why my hair gets like separated and like stringy like this. So I'm actually going to like brush it. I just don't like how my hair looks stringy like that. There we go. Okay, that's all it took. And then I'll just like rebounce it. Oh, cute, 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 cute. You know, I'm all about like the heatless. So I was a little upset when I did the whole blowout thing like with a straightener and everything and it still like fell the next day. I was like, oh, hell no. I know I did not just damage my hair for no reason. So I'm glad this kind of saved it a little bit. I don't really know what's going on up top here, but okay, I'm gonna do one of those like dramatic shots of the back just so you can see when I'm editing what this all looks like. I will say the rollers have actually saved like my bank styling. They're just so flat right now because I washed my face this morning and put like my headband in. I'm leaving um, now-ish, so I will check in with you guys probably tomorrow, but just taking you with me for the blowout journey has been <laughs> something. Good morning, actually good afternoon. It's Tuesday, my hair looks a mess. I did this again last night um, without any texturizing spray or anything. Just want to take it out. This is really, truly, this vlog is just going to be about me trying to achieve a blowout and, and then preserve it. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, I see a curl. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a blowout, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of giving everything I wanted. I mean, minus the bangs, but I have a way to fix that the volume at the roots is really what i'm here for i look like some sort of bad scientist right now oh i was just like massively inspired i have like three videos i want to film today so i can edit while i'm traveling and just have those ready to go and just like get my youtube back to where it was before i had like a full-time job and just being like dedicated to it again and everything really today is just like a content creation day well yes i'm like making content like this is a way for you guys to like keep up with me i have to fix this like it's so flat at the very top i'm gonna fix that but this is generally the vibe also love island all stars is out and if you're watching let me know because i'm watching i'm over the moon i'm like so excited about it it is everything i could want from love island and more like i really didn't like love island games i just wasn't about the whole like winning challenges part of it. I thought that kind of like was boring for me. I'm really honestly there for like the matchmaking and the romance and the drama of it all. So let me know down below if you're watching Love Island All-Stars and who you're rooting for. I honestly don't have any favorites right now. I'm only on like episode three, but <laughs> let me go ahead and put this in a roller and then get my day started. Or maybe I could just do a crazy, crazy side part like this. Yeah, what do we think? I feel so fucking cute. First of all, pearls blowout skirt i can't be stopped i filmed two videos so i feel really good about that i was gonna film a third and do like hairstyles for like when you hit your bangs but that's just not me right now i'm not feeling it so i'm loving my hair and i don't want to like mess it up by styling it too much so i'm gonna save that video for another day what i am going to do though is begin packing because i always put this off to like the day of but i genuinely have so much I like need to make sure I bring that I'm gonna start packing now. I'm gonna get my suitcase and begin this process. This is my whole suitcase set, but I'm just gonna see if I can get away with the carry-on. Also ignore my desk. Like I said, lots of filming went on earlier. If I need to check a bag, whatever, I'll pay the baggage fee. Hopefully I don't need a bigger bag because that would just be annoying. I also know I can bring like a personal bag, so We'll see. 
if I can like put my toiletries, all that good stuff away in a different bag. Wednesday is gonna be like a chill day, travel day. I'll wear my Lululemon. This is where I get torn about like footwear because it's Louisiana, okay? It's not the Arctic tundra, but it's also almost like the tropics. Like should I bring my new balances or should I just honestly wear my Uggs the whole time? 68 and sunny, oh wow. Okay, the weather's gonna be in the 60s. I'm gonna start with the easy stuff because I actually feel like I should do laundry. This is my bridesmaid's dress. Haley was just so thoughtful and just like logical and was like, everyone just get a black dress. So I'm really thankful for that because this is something I'll be able to rewear for other occasions and I find that very sustainable of her. And then this is a vintage or a secondhand like silk cowl neck brown jumpsuit that I got at like a vintage shop that literally fits me like a glove. It's actually crazy how well it fits. I'm excited to wear this Thursday night for the rehearsal. Um, and I know I'm gonna wear my gold heels with that. Gold heels, black heels. <sighs> okay, and that's it, I'm done. <laughs> no, I, I wish, I'm just kidding. I think I'm gonna start my laundry because now I'm kinda like, there's stuff that's dirty that I know I wanna bring with me. I've made some progress. I know it looks like all shoes which is pretty typical some shoes go with some outfits and some don't so you need to pack a pair of shoes for every outfit it's just how i see life i got all my makeup packed away which i feel good about it all fits in one little container most of my hair stuff pretty much everything that i'm gonna need for like the blowout look is packed away my pajamas for the wedding like for getting ready i have an outfit packed i have my outfit picked out for tomorrow and then i have another outfit that I like have in my mind that I have halfway packed. There's just like so many little things I just wanna like make sure I don't forget, but I don't know if I'm gonna have to freaking check a bag. If I do, that's just like a little upsetting because maybe I should've just like bought a more expensive ticket, but I like kind of forgot how many things I'm gonna be bringing with me. I don't know, it's just a different vibe. It's also like almost a week long trip too. So there are some days in between of just like hanging out, doing stuff that like I need to be packed for as well. I made some progress. I'm about to go out to the grocery store and get stuff to make burritos tonight and just like have like a chill Tuesday night before I leave for my flight in the morning. Good morning, it's Wednesday, my flight leaves in a few hours, so I'm gonna head out. I did it, I was able to pack in all of this, this carry-on. And I mean, I also have like a small duffel for my personal item, but for the most part, I was able to pack everything, which I feel really good about because I did not want to have to check a bag, especially because I'm just taking the trains and stuff. I'm about to leave, I went and got like a bagel and coffee this morning from my one and only bagel shop. My bagel order is everything bagel with sky and cream cheese, tomato, and cucumber. Let me know if y'all think that's crazy or try it and let me know how you love it. I'd love to know your bagel order as well. I'm always getting the same thing and it'd be nice to try something new, but I have half of it left. I'm gonna save for just like the commute over. Hold me over. I'm excited. I don't believe Haley's getting married. Take a shot every time I say that. Like, you'll be blacked out by this video. I made it. I'm flying Delta. Good thing to know about LaGuardia's Delta's air terminal is not fully built out yet. So I had a lot of walking. I finished my bagel. I'm ready to board. I just have to consolidate this into this and then somehow take out my laptop so I can edit. Honestly, probably the roughest flight I've been on in a minute. I don't know if that's a Delta thing or the weather thing. But the flight attendant also was like not that cool. Um, she definitely almost hit me in the face with like a basket of earbuds, and I was just like really appalled by it. I don't know, it was weird. Weird energy. She must have been in a bad mood. But I also kind of started to feel a little bit of motion sickness when we were landing, which is like not usual for me. But we landed and I'm just waiting for my brother to pick me up. He's about like 15 minutes away now at this point and we're gonna get lunch. He has to pee. I'm like really, really craving a po' boy and we're in New Orleans, so what better place to get one? It feels good to be landed and like have a whole day in the city and it's crazy how warm it is here. Like it's almost 70 degrees and like clear. Like I have my jacket here, I don't even need it. So now we wait. Hello, this 
this is Mason. I don't know if you guys have ever met my brother. We just need co-boys. I forgot to vlog, but I took pictures. <laughs> What's your rating out of 10? It was pretty good. I'd probably give it probably an eight and a half. I feel like a nine just quite isn't it. I mean, there's a lot more options. I don't know if uh, what I had was the best option. It's very sad. What I had, yeah. Very thorough review. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking about this. It's been the works. You had that oyster po' boy. The gumbo, okay, I would rate like the po' boy was like a nine and ten for me. The fries were like a five. Yeah, the fries are just fries. Mid. Nothing too special. The gumbo was probably a seven. And then uh, drinks were like, would you feel like a like a three? I don't know. Go. I'm just vlogging. Nice. Mason, that's got your name on it. Oh, that actually has your name on it. Say hi. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. This is Haley's Haley's wedding vlog. Congratulations, Haley. Love you. Can't wait to see you as a bride. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> it's the next morning. A flipper is in the sink. And I'm going to try the blowout again. So, I woke up super early, like at 6.30, just to shower so I could have the rollers in my hair for as long as possible. Like I said, this vlog is mostly going to be about me trying to get a blowout and Haley's wedding. So, welcome to that content. But I'm excited to try with the hair dryer. And if this really works for me, then this is what I will be doing wedding day. As of right now, I am living in the struggle of being carless in a car world. So, I'm going with Sadie to her dentist appointment. And then after that, we're going to get our nails done. I need a mani and a pedi. And I'm thinking I'm just going to do like a peachy nude. Just gel and call that a day. And Miss Ella. Hi. Ella joins us. And Flipper. Wow. Spoiled this morning. But that's that. Um, so I'm going to give this a try. Wish me luck. probably comical how many times you guys have seen me in rollers and this vlog alone but I just finished and I feel like it went well I think the only thing is like some hair I definitely like need to make sure it was dry like on my left side I feel like it probably wasn't fully dry when I like went through I can feel like also under like the underneath bits hopefully that doesn't like mess with it too much but now I know for next time just to like take extra time going over with the hair dryer but I'm gonna leave this for an hour Sadie's gonna come pick me up in about like an hour and a half so I'm just gonna let it sit and set and I feel good about it though so far so fingers crossed like this is it this is my perfect blowout there's some stuff I didn't do like put in a mousse and I don't have a hair oil to put in after but I think I'll be fine. Reveal time. I've seen the method of twist and pull. Danny's gonna be here in like five minutes, so I need to hurry up. Okay, okay. Oh my God, I'm excited. Wait, this might be the best yet, actually. I guess I do need like a blow dryer. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, I'm actually so excited. Oh my God, this is just giving like soft, 90s full on blowout. My mom had like all the supplies. Slay. Oh my god, that's that's volume, friends. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, I have one more left. Oh well. Wow. I mean, this is like what I was going for. So much volume. My, I've never struggled with volume, so like maybe this is like a little too intense for me. Just gonna have to play with it some more, but this is like kind of the goal, you know? It's just like up top. <laughs> it's 
so much. Sadie's gonna pick me up, so I'm just gonna pack these up and then head out. I'm gonna wait till that passes. <laughs> Guess who it is? It's me. It's Sadie. <laughs> just had a dentist appointment. I was editing in her dentist's lobby. So it was cute. What'd you get? A uh, grande iced latte with almond milk and sugar-free vanilla. Cute. That sounds good. Yes. Um, they came out with this oleo latte, so I'm gonna try that. It definitely tastes like olive oil. Like, definitely. Do you want a sip? <laughs> I'm really selling it. Um, but we're on our way to go get nails done and then see where the rest of the day takes us. So Your hair looks so good though. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nail shot. Wait, where are you going? I love your color. Thanks. I feel like it goes really well with like your hair and skin yeah. color and all that good stuff. <laughs> okay. We're at Yes. <laughs> so we're Audi. Um, the algorithm will put you up there because you're, you're shooting in a rich area. Bronco <laughs> content. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I like the skirt. Thank you. No, crazy. Yeah. Very fancy. No, when that lady was like, I Jeep got hit, and you're like, I oh, I, I drive did. a Bronco well, because, because literally the, people call my Bronco Jeep all the time. So I'm like, and she was like older, so she's probably mm -hmm. just called it what it was. The same so thing. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> Did someone really hit it? And she also said white, and yours is white too. And then so. that that sketchy old man came in trying to sell us his fruit, and so I already was on edge. <laughs> Sadie was. Sadie said she got secondhand embarrassment yeah, from him trying to sell because, fruit. But it must happen all the time because like the workers they were, chill. were like, Ugh, this guy. Well, that's what I was saying is like, honestly, it's nothing I haven't seen before in New York. Like no. ladies will full on strap their like two month old or whatever, like toddlers to their back and like try to sell chips and candy and chocolate. Well, so. this one, like, I don't know. It's, I think because it's just like Covington. <laughs> like yeah. what? Yeah, it was, and he's like, I'm from a small town called Amy. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we all know, yeah, we know where you're Amy from Hammond, is. Babe. You're from Hammond. <laughs> Not that far out. You're literally like the next exit off. You understand? Know, I was kind of like, I'll take a honey crisp apple, but then he only had cash up, and like, cash up is for scammers. Yeah, no, I wasn't feeling him. I wasn't like his vibe. <laughs> he tried though, but. Paws and claws, done. Oh, also the drama with me was like, she didn't ask me what I wanted like for a pedicure. Cause I wanted the whole foot rub. I had, I was like dying for a scrub and a rub. Wait, so you literally just got, that's why I was so confused yeah. as to why you were so um back and forth. I've never had that lady though. She did I, great on my nails. Uh, that lady behind us that says she liked your skirt just peeled. No wait, it's not her. I was like, <laughs> that person just peeled out. That's so uh, <laughs> the old lady. Yeah, like, <laughs> your caravan can't handle that. I mean, your tires are bald. Oh my god, oh that man. did not sound good. <laughs> okay, I'm turning this off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me do this. I don't know. I look really pale. Oh, I am really pale. I, I'm definitely paler than you are. Not a chance. No, like actually. Or we might be the same color. No, like I'm no actually paler than you are. No, I'm stark white. I mean, I have like an olive undertone, but like I'm come below. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know who's paler. So we're doing a little mini alcohol. Sounds like alcohol. Haley's wedding rehearsal is tonight. So I picked up some things. I'm gonna start with the one thing I went in for. And I'll show you guys the other things. But I got a lip oil. This is ALF Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I have it on now. And I feel like it kind of gives like a little bit of plumping, honestly. Like it tingles a little bit. Okay. And I don't think Dior does that. No, I don't think. Miss Dior. Miss Dior does have together. pigment. Does it have plumping? Mm -mm. And this is $8, not 40 So. Oh my God. I know. Mm -hmm. I almost bought the Dior one too. I was like, I don't need that. I thought my dog was going to throw up. <laughs> okay, so I went in for, I guess, another dupe, really. It is this lip liner, the NYX, in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. So we'll see if it is. 
a Charlotte Tilbury pillow top dupe. Mm -hmm. Eight dollars. No. Five. Five. Five dollars. This $5. is five dollars. Love, love. That's next, right? Yes. Yeah. So I was not gonna get a lip liner, but I was convinced when Megan got hers. So I got this one and ever again I have it on. I feel like it's like a little I'll swatch it because it's like a little bit like your lips but better. I gotta be careful I don't use too much of this because I didn't bring out like a sharpener with me. And then I have uh, like a little lipstick in work by Charlotte Tilbury that I think matches though so it's good to have a lip liner that goes with it. And then I got a better than sex little mini mascara because I don't have a black mascara right now. And then I also paired with my lip liner I got another NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Zurich. Zurich? Zurich. Yeah like the like the city. Um, yeah. We're educated. <laughs> um, and so it is like a kind of like Elise's lip liner. It's like a not like a mauve pink kind of thing. Cute. So hopefully it matches well with the lip liner. Cute. And the last thing I got was the Mac Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. Cool classic. Love. I'm excited because I don't have an eyelid primer, and I actually did look for one from Elf, but they didn't have any. So <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I was like, maybe you won't. <laughs> no, we can't <laughs> win. Okay. Oh. oh. Is this where we had it? No. No. I guess it was going to fall over. Love that. Okay. Thanks for coming to our haul. Bye bye. now. Say bye, Ruin. Say bye, Ruin. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> bye. Wait, I. Wait, Starbucks on the Okay, take two. <laughs> Say hi. Uh, at least tried that, she like, like it. Go. What? Hate it. Weird. It okay. Smooth, Say hi. I also tried it and it tastes like olive oil. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, it's the one in Starbucks. It's probably like the olive oil that comes in like the... I'm gonna cry my That's eyes. That's where we're gonna be crying. <laughs> right over there. Right there. We'll be bawling our eyes out. Love that. <laughs> oh, it is gorgeous though. It's so cute. I wish my camera were like picking up. Uh, are your parents coming no. to the wedding? No. Are yours? Um. That one, like, fuck, I don't know. I just went to write it. Interesting. I didn't know that. You know what? It makes sense that like relatives and stuff are here. <laughs> you can't be discreet with the thing. <laughs> and then also, I had the Oh, okay. I got you. You're the uncle. Okay. I'm gonna put this in. It's pick time. Smells like cigar. I'm with the bride to be. Hi. Welcome to the rehearsal. Then, how do you feel? Give us um, tea. Nervous, excited. Had a great night, and now we're going to drink. Straight cat or what are we doing, Margs? Uh, yeah, either La Coretta's or Stray Cats. Exciting. I'm excited. I don't know look. <laughs> look at yourself. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi, because it looks like you're looking at the camera. Ooh, okay. Vlogger, vlogger tips. Oh, Libby loves the vlog. Gotta get her in there. <laughs> Wait, I'll do a slow zoom. <laughs> yeah. I got it. <laughs> hey, Corey. Oh, it's so zoomed in. We're going to the bar. Let's go. Right now? Okay, let's go. <laughs> It's happening. Ah.